Okay, hi guys, uh, welcome to my next video. This is gonna be my first crafting video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make corn bags. Uh, for those that don't know, these are what they are. They're kind of like what you play cornhole with, but these are really great for, you know, if you have a headache, uh, muscle aches, you know, pretty much anything. You can put them in the freezer, otherwise you can put them in the microwave and heat them up. Just kind of your preference. Um, these are two of them that I have made so far. Uh, one's a marine print and one's a sunflower print. So I made these for two of my best friends. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of show you the process of how I make these. They make great gifts, cause you know, can't go wrong with them. Um, what I usually use is 100% cotton fabric. Um, I have read that you can use uh, fleece fabric, but I just really, wouldn't use it. I feel like the 100% cotton just when you put it in the microwave it gives you the best heat and the best cooling uh, when you put it in the freezer. Um, and depending on your preference you can use either uh, designed fabric like I used for these otherwise you can just use plain fabric. Um, these here I actually got at Joann's Fabrics. They are uh, pre-cut which is really nice. Uh, I just went ahead and grabbed it in the fabric area. These ones are 18 inch by 21 inch. I am going to be using them to make two each. Otherwise, if you are going up to the cutting counter like I did for these two, I usually do about a quarter of a yard and then you can go ahead and fold it in half and still make two. Um, so first off, you know, you do want to make sure that you have a sewing machine. Funny enough, mine isn't working so i am actually using this singer quick stitch which actually surprisingly works really well i'm pretty satisfied with that uh besides what just happened which is that my thread fell out um these are better when you have um the smaller bobbins but sorry we're back now my thread is now back on my machine um so yeah as i was saying other than when you have the larger thread on there. I actually really like this machine. Uh, I got it at Walmart pretty cheap. Uh, but let me see here. So yeah, as I said, I have these pre-cut and pre-measured out sets of fabric. I have blue and purple. I did already pin this blue one, which I know is probably really hard to see, sorry about that, um, just so that that one is ready. These are actually, like I said, going to be for one of my friends. She requested that I make some for her, so these ones are going to be for her. Um, so after your fabric is all cut, uh, you want to make sure that you flip it inside out. For this one, you know, it doesn't really matter a whole lot just because this is a solid color but obviously when you use a print like I did for these ones it'll be a lot noticeable when your fabric is inside out and not and the reason why you want that inside out is because when you are done sewing the edges besides just a little bit which I'll explain a little bit later why um, the color of the fabric that is more vibrant will be on the outside and it's obviously a lot more pleasing to the eye. Um, so as I said, I did already go ahead and pin this one, but I am going to want to pin a purple one because I do want to do that one in this video as well. Um, but when it comes to the corn, as you saw, I just have a bag of the cracked corn. I got that at my local fleet farm and I think it was about three maybe four dollars i'm sure if you have like a bird feeding store they'll have it too it's just like cracked corn that you feed chickadees i believe um yeah so let's get started i am going to first go ahead and pin the fabric uh the purple one that i haven't done so far what i like doing is putting my pins a little bit higher than where i want to stitch especially with this type of machine just so it doesn't get caught but yet that the fabric is still secure um i really like 
using the seam that you already have from its when it's cut so all you really have to do is pin three sides which is really nice so I am going to go ahead and do that and we will be right back okay so we are back uh, the purple fabric is now pinned like I said earlier, you are going to have the three sides that are not already combined pinned so that you can go ahead and sew that. Uh, before you're done sewing though, you want to leave about, I would say, a two inch unsewn area just so that you can go ahead and flip the fabric back inside out so that the uh, design is on the outside and also so that you can put the corn in. Now I did want to say, you know, the as I think I showed a clip earlier the sizes of this one. These are about 8 by 8 inches. Uh, these ones are actually here, the blue and purple, are going to be a little bit larger. They're going to be about 9 by 10, I think is what I measured. And that's just due to the fabric being cut a little bit bigger. Now, the size and shape really depends on you and what you want to use it for. I really like just the uh, square ones like these because you can pretty much put them anywhere. Now you can do like skinny and really long ones to just wrap around your neck which is really nice but again I really like just the plain squares. So let's go ahead and start sewing. <laughs> saw I did just sew this blue one uh, which went really well as you saw like I said the pins did get stuck in my sewing machine a few times but that's okay um, so as I said before I am going to go ahead and flip this back uh, so it's not inside out oh and I should say I know at the end of the clip you saw me kind of tying off the end of the string the funny thing about this one is that it doesn't have a second bobbin to go ahead and loop around each other. So, you know, normally you don't have to do as much as I did, but since this is just a single bobbin uh, sewing machine, you do have to loop it back into itself in order to tie it off so that the stitches stick. Um, so that was what I was doing a little bit towards the end. So you just want to go ahead and carefully grab it. Uh, I do it diagonally so you grab the opposite corner and just go ahead and pull that through and again you want to be as gentle as possible just so you that you don't you know rip the seam that you just made So then you have the hole at the top. Now you can use just like a normal funnel, uh, but what's easiest for me, especially if I'm just here by myself, um, I actually put the crap corn in a bag and then uh, pour it into the funnel that way, just so it's easy to stabilize the funnel and pour at the same time. Um, I just snip the one of the corners like you would if you were piping icing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this one up. Okay, so now that the corn is in there, you want to go ahead and make sure that you seal off the portion that you were using for the funnel. I also like just going around the whole bag just so that it has just a nice border on it and it is that extra seal for the 
uh, corn. Alrighty, so now that you are done with sewing the outside border, um, I just think again that it looks really nice and it helps seal in the corn. So again, this is super simple, super easy, uh, depending on what you're looking for. Like I said, I just use these pre-cut and uh, pre-measured uh, squares of 100% cotton from Joanne Fabrics. But uh, for these ones, I went to the cutting area and ask them for a quarter yard of fabric and then I just go ahead and fold that in half cut that in half so you can go ahead and make two eight by eights otherwise these ones if you fold it in half you can make two about nine by tens and again uh, if you want to do one for your neck you can do like a really long and skinny one whatever size depending on what you're looking for uh, so again you're going to want to take your fabric, then you're going to want to go ahead and pin this one. I don't know if you can see the pins, um, but you're going to want to pin them again inside out so that when you're done uh, sewing these borders with that two inch gap so that you can pull the fabric through and put the corn in. Um, and then of course, once you're done putting the corn in, you want to go ahead and do your outside border helps it seal it in. Some people don't do an outside border. I just think it looks nice and helps seal it in. But yeah, so that uh, those are corn bakes. Again, I really like using them uh, for aches, pains, just relaxation. Uh, my friends that I made these for, his family puts them in the freezer. So, you know, you can use it for heating or cooling. Uh, if you have any questions or if you honestly want me to make you one, let me know. Otherwise, this is it for this video. Go ahead and give it a like and a share. Thanks.